Hello and welcome to Morocco, a long-time favourite destination on the European Tour. It's the latest edition of the trophy, Hassan De at the Royal Golf Dar es Salaam course in Rabat, the Moroccan capital. The weather wasn't too clever earlier in the week, but fortunately for the tournament, it's going to be warm and sunny today, getting up to around 20 Celsius, and the wind's light out of the west-northwest. It looks like being a beautiful day. Richard Boxall alongside me. Gallica. Perfect tee shot down the left-hand side. And he's knocking it down the right, trying to move that in from right to left. Which he's done. What a beauty that is. Go on. Oh, hang on. No, could, could it? Yes! Oh, Stephen Gallagher! How about that in for an albatross, too? Well, they're rare birds. And that's a special one for Stevie Gallagher. How about that? Holds his second shot at the par 5 eighth. And Gallagher immediately moves to four under par. First outing since he won in India. And that's something to remember. Well done, Stevie. Six hole, Canazar is to move to minus five. Has he hit it? No. Oh, you have! Oh, oh, yes. There you go. That'll do. See the difference there. Canizar is in Gallagher, just missing. I mean, subtleties of golf. He, you know, when he won the Alfred Dunlop, you're talking about. He, we stayed in the same hotel, the Boo Harlow Lodge, which we quite like. Don't we, do? we do, yeah. And he was very lonely chap. He was on his own every single night. So at the end, on the Saturday, I said, "Where are you staying tomorrow?" He said, "I can't get back into this hotel." I said, I think if you win, I said, I don't think there'll be a problem getting back into the hotel. To the seventh, Jordan Smith. Once again, nicely in the fairway. And that's one of the strengths of his game. Not only is he pretty good in terms of hitting greens in regulation, there's another excellent shot right over the top of the flag. He does hit more fairways than the average pro. Keep it out of that wind as much as you can. As soon as it balloons on you, you know where it's going to be, possibly plugged in that front bunker. Yeah, that's a good shot. I do think it's harder for younger players, though, to play shots as Guido has just done there, which is sensational. Julian Suri. That's the par five. Trying to get it up and down to make his birdie. Yep. And giving himself a very good opportunity. Nicely done. Up the green and we'll move from right to left for Lipsky. That looks pretty good. Better than that. Excellent stuff for uh, Lipsky. Again, it was one of those ones he's just trying to two putt it and in it went to say so he moves to five under. The slattery for a birdie on the par five fifth. The hole that plays a little bit down breeze, and that's nicely done by Lee. Four birdies, three bogeys. Crocker for a birdie, or for an eagle birdie finish. Good try, excellent stuff. Going to be, and it'll be. A round of 74 today, which is actually quite a good recovery in the end. Three under for the last four holes. 38, which is a couple over. Beginning to play his way out of the tournament, especially when he dropped two shots in the first three on the back nine. You look at that card there, it's a good comeback. Rookie year in the tour for Sean, qualified through the Challenge Tour rankings last year. And we are told that the wind will drop tomorrow. The greens will still be pretty firm. I'm hopeful that the officials might make the flags a little easier tomorrow but it's going to be a brilliant weekend no doubt about that great golf course but when the wind blows as it has today and those greens firm up it's uh, it really is a, a test of every aspect of your game he's got a bit of a fight on to win his first title uh, but Grant Forrest third birdie of the back nine seventh of the round Three early bogeys, but 
um, yeah, my money went into his account anyway. Crocker, 147 yards to go. Pitching wedge this is. Well, that's a brilliant start. We were just saying how tough it is to do what he's just done there. So he's pulled off an absolute corker on the opening hole. Just hooding the face there a little bit on the way back, as is the modern way, though. The left wrist and arm all in a line. He makes sure that he keeps the angle plane into the ball on the line that he took it down, or back, rather. Two seconds and a third this season so far. This for a verdict. He's a real plodder, Campillo. There he goes, finds the bottom of the hole, Campillo. So. Van Royen after that fantastic fairway bunker shot at 16, putting from the fringe. This is a makeable one. Oh, how about those last two putts? Eric Van Royen to six under par, only one stroke behind Crocker. Well done, Eric Van Royen. That's a terrific round. 68, five under par today for the South African. And a great finish. Finishes with three straight birdies. Four on the last six holes. And Eric Van Royen takes the lead on his own at eight under par here in Morocco. Campillo is one back, Crocker two back. The man from Adelaide got his breakthrough win on the European Tour and the Hong Kong Open at the end of 2017. American, this lad. Flag just left of the number six TV tower at the back of the green, that. And he's at five under. Ah, that's a great shot. Might well be six in a minute. Hello, this is absolutely magnificent from Van Royen, and that gives himself an eagle putt. That he's already played, not it particularly close. That's a good shot from Wade Ormsby. He got some height with that, yeah, didn't he? Off that slope. Smith. Pin back left. I thought you were going to say aim it at the big seven, Richard, on the <laughs> yes, TV the, Yes, that was pretty much the, about there, you mean. Yes, done a little better than that. That's a brilliant shot. Ball above his feet, so I think he will try and play that little chippy one. Get it to run up the green. Well, he's gone for the high ball. Hit it, Wayne. Hit it, Wayne. Right! Hit it, Wayne. Right! Well, you just need a little bit of good fortune every now and again, and that might have been... Wayne Ormsby from short of the green here at the eighth. This is his third shot. Pretty straightforward pitch. Beautifully played. So many Australians have great short games. And get out and dodge with a four. Ooh, that must have been an anxious moment or two there for Grant. That didn't clear the water by much. It's great now, and he's got a very good chance of only dropping one, but... ...out of the bunker for his third shot. He hits the downslope, runs down to the hole. Well, he's flown it further. Played it well. Yep, fantastic touch from the Spaniard. He had some juicy grass at the back of the 13th, and hello. On right for him today, but he's going to need something dramatic, maybe like a three here. Oh, he has two. And Samuya from Finland, he's four over. They're not having the best of days. Five to go for Forrest. One nine six to the pin here. At uh, the 14th, that's a beauty. That's more like it. That's a great shot. Into the breeze, go a little bit long and it runs off the back. What a shot. Oh, that is a magnificent shot. Absolutely out of the top draw. Jorge Campillo, consistent excellence at last brings tangible reward. And I think everyone in the European Tour will be delighted for the popular Spaniard. Talk about paying your dues.
six times second, four times third, 18 top tens. We must have won it if the great day would ever come. But now we know. To watch another European Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.